So my name is Lillian Warham. Um, I am originally from California, but I moved to Australia when I was eight. I am a primary school teacher and I am doing OTC. My teacher is Monica Singh Sangwon and that's, uh, that's a little bit about me. Um, so I first came across OTC when I was traveling in 2011 and I knew a, a woman who had been studying with a teacher in India. So I kind of just went over to India. I was in Thailand at the time. And then, yeah, I kind of just checked out the, the dance. I didn't really know much about it, but I just went to one of the dance classes. It was like a, a garage kind of, you know, with these fold up doors, it's just like three meters wide and <laughs> nine meters deep. And um, they were all, everyone was, uh, just doing the steps to the Mardala. Um, so my teacher at the time, his name was Guru uh, Saroch Dehuri. I just started learning and that was in Himachal Pradesh. After I did that for a while in India, my visa ran out eventually. So I was like, oh, I need to find somewhere in Australia so I can study um, and then someone just mentioned to me like that there was this teacher Monica Singh Sangwan in, in Melbourne and I'd never lived in Melbourne before but my husband um, Simon he lived in Melbourne so we were like oh well we might as well just go to Melbourne and yeah, move to Melbourne to do to do dance really well I've always done dancing um, previously like when I was younger I did ballet and um, jazz and tap and kind of all the western, more western, even classical dances you could say. Um, so I really always have felt drawn to classical dances, um, the, just coming across the class and like the structure of it. But also um, I do a lot of meditation and I've done a lot of yoga in the past. So this kind of merging of this classical style with the spiritual aspect of the dance really called to me. Odyssey is very balanced so it's got a lot of the masculine and the feminine energy so this, these energies are really balanced in Odyssey and I think that that's really helped me keep my my center and like feel very stable um, in life. Odyssey brings a lot um, of joy into my life <laughs> and um, even though it's very demanding physically but um, still at the same time it it really speaks to my spirit, I guess, in okay. a way that other dancers haven't before. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been doing it for like 10 years now, I think. Yeah, about 10 years. Yeah, I think that along with it, it brings a lot of good things into my life, um, like any sort of art, true art form does, discipline and you know, determination, devotion, these kinds of things. It has definitely impacted my life in a, in a, in a positive way mm. and just being with Monica Monica G it's um, she's really provided a lot of direction and in in the dance and also in life yeah I think like with the Guru Shisha Parampara that she's setting up it's like a lifelong relationship really and goes beyond you know you go to class and you have the teachings your lives are interwoven sort of until you know the end really I'm so grateful to have a wonderful teacher like Monkaji to be able to deliver the teachings in such a pure way. Like most of us come to Monkaji as adults already, so there's definitely a lot of respect there. She respects our lifestyles as well because it's very, you know, other lives that we have, they're very demanding and we go to work and all that kind of stuff, but mm. there's definitely a lot, lots of laughter and, and fun and joy in the class. Like, I think the one thing that I really noticed about her style of teaching is that it is about responding to the students' needs rather than you just treat everyone the same, yeah? Like, you really need to say what the student needs to, to get to a certain point, yeah? Or this is what they need to achieve. And how are they going to get there? It's going to be different for everybody. So I see that she does that for everybody. And I think that I really try to, or I have taken on board that kind of thinking rather than just treat everyone the same it's like about equity so like allowing what does this person need in order to get to that same spot as you know their their what they need to achieve or what their goal is 
So the Odyssey is very demanding dance and being pregnant takes a lot of energy too. So it's allowed me to kind of slow down a little bit more and, um, and just focus more on things like the, listening to the music, focusing on my expression and just feeling more of the dance and the dances that we've been doing for a, for a long time. So going back and thinking about those dances in a different way as well. So reflecting on, you know, maybe some dances that I learned at the very beginning of my journey with ODC and then thinking about, you know, more about the music rather than the technical side of things. And so mm-hmm. it's been good to have a little bit of a slow down and reflect my my hopes and dreams for Odyssey aren't um, I don't have too many expectations for future dreams or hopes I've always just kind of done my dancing and graciously accepted what's come my way and been very grateful for all the opportunities that I've had to dance with Monica G going workshops in Varanasi and Puri being able to perform around Victoria Melbourne and interstate and being able to go internationally and perform and to see there as well. It's been, you know, it's not something I've always, like, haven't dreamed of big dreams. It's just I just keep on doing what I love and, and um, yeah, hopefully good things will keep on happening and, and just keep on enjoying. And if nothing happens, that's fine. I'll just keep on dancing. <laughs>